Hi guys, this time we're building a chest of drawers. This is a lot more complex than the workbench. What with the inside dimensions and outside dimensions for both the shell and the drawers. So I started with the model as when I had it completed, I could take the dimensions from that rather than having to rely on maths. After completing the model, I hit the sketchbook. The real point of this was to try and lay out my cuts in the best way is to use as few sheets of plywood as possible. Those dotted lines are the cuts they will make in the builder shards that I can transport the wood. Then the solid lines are the cuts I will make myself. So for those of you who do a bit of DIY, you'll know that plywood is really hard to get hold of at the moment. Actually, I had to go to three builder's yards to get the stuff I needed. First of all, I went to Boucher Road, then East Belfast, and I ended up all the way out in Lisburn. But the staff at Haldane and Fisher were super helpful in telling me the type and thickness of plywood that I would need. And in a minute, you'll see the nice chap cutting it up for me. He definitely thought it was a bit strange that I wanted to fill him in. And here we have a little shot of the wood back in the workshop. Making things out of plywood is definitely not economical at the moment. What you can see here costs a small fortune. Next up, it's time to get the circular saw out. Now this is fresh out of the box and it's been like eight years since I used one of these. So I thought it would be wise to give the instructions a quick read. Having built up the courage to use my saw, it was time to lay out some cut lines on the wood. As you can see, I was a bit awkward at this in the start, but I got better as the project went on. And here you can see me take the plunge and actually put the saw to use. I really like this shot, the way the sawdust flies at the camera, there's something cool about it. And uh, I experimented with a few different ways of cutting to try to prevent the waste falling away so dramatically. Having cut the material for the shell of the chest, it's time to start assembly. And yes, I'm using pocket holes again. Two reasons for that. Firstly, it's easy and I know how to do it. And secondly, I have the jig, so I might as well use it. Time now to attach the top of the chest to the sides. I had real bother lining everything up perfectly flush and holding it in place as I put in the screws. Ideally I would have had clamps on it but I didn't have any that were big enough. Just putting the back on the shell now. As you can see, I drilled pilot holes as I'm close to the edge of the wood, but I didn't bother countersinking these as the screws do a pretty good job of that themselves. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see the back is in two halves and I'm just putting the second half on there. I had some visitors to the workshop. They're getting more comfortable with me, but they just stopped short of letting me stroke them. Having finished the shell, I thought it would be a good idea to remeasure for the drawers rather than rely on my dimensions exactly matching the model. As you can see now, it's time to cut the material for the drawers. By this stage, I was getting much more comfortable with the whole measuring and cutting process. Now I'm putting together one of the drawers. As you can see, it's back to our old friends, the pocket screws. I do intend on doing some courses to learn some more sophisticated joinery, but for the meantime, this does the job. Here I'm just cutting the handle hole in the front of the drawer. It was very pleasing to use the vise that I had installed myself. So first of all I attack it with the pull saw and hog out most of the material. Then in a second you'll see that I go in with the rasp and file just to finish it off. Here I am installing the completed first drawer. The beady eyed amongst you will notice that this first drawer has wooden runners. That's because I was out on the length measurement by like one or two mil. And here's the completed chest of drawers. It's not perfect and I'm out by the odd millimeter here and there, but I have to say that given it was a complicated product, it's, uh, it's not bad for a second ever build. <laughs> 